Yo, what is up everyone? Hope all's going well for you. Welcome back to Get Jack. Now today, continuing off here in official PvP. I'm excited. Today, we're gonna be getting into some some hatching. I've got some eggs incubated. We've got these in raids, things like that. And I really want to see how they turn out. They might not be better than anything we have, but hey, it's always fun to kind of see um, what they turn out to be. I don't know. Um, we've got Kentra. We've got a Giga one here. I've got some between both the center and... Um, I'll just grab everything that we've got here. Um, I've got eggs basically between the center and Ragnarok because the ones on the center I just can't bring over here to hatch. And I don't know why. They just won't come off of their timer. I sat there for like three hours trying to get them off the timer, and it would not happen. So we have to hatch things on both servers. Uh, we're trying to move things around here on Ragnarok, so it's going to be a little bit goofy. But uh, we've got our new base pretty much all situated, and I'd like to get some new stuff bred up around here. So let's do this. Let's go get these hatched. All right, here we go. So we've got these. I'll drop these pteranodons down. We'll just have these hatch right away. Oh, don't, don't mind the base still trying to load in. There we go. All right, let's see here. Wyvern's gonna be a bit. Giga's gonna be a bit. I think the Quetzal's probably gonna be the longest one. I don't really even care to hatch a Quetzal. Like, we have so many Quetzals, and I don't know. They take too long. They take way too long. Now. Brontos and Parasers also take just as long as a Quetzal, so I look forward to that. Um, there, alright, that's going to be a bit. It's only halfway incubated. And I kind of want to see what uh, this Giga turns out with melee-wise. Can you drop? It's like lagging or something. There we go. Um, we're also working out of this little makeshift AC compartment just because we're moving over to the other Ragnarok area. Mostly because we can't fit a hundred turret limit here. It just doesn't work. So we've been moving. It's a bit of a hassle, but hey, we need to get some babies going finally. We need some personal dinos all imprinted and stuff so that we can take them uh, future raids and whatnot. And hey, we got them all for free. This is not going to incubate. We need to go get a couple more ACs made up here quick. I'll run up top. We should have enough stuff to get that going. It is considerably less laggy around here than normal, considering there are no dinos. We've we've moved most of them. Now it's just onto the structures and stuff. But I'll go grab some AC units. We'll get this going, and we'll be back when these are all set. All right, so here we go. Pteranodons are down, or hatched. I mean, they're not down. Well, they're down, but they're also hatched. Also, we've got these Kentros that I want to get going. Stegos, I don't really care about. I don't feel like doing those eggs, but they're exactly the same color. I don't get why they look exactly the same as Stego, but hey, here they are. Um, they're just a little bit smaller. We've got probably the highest level Pteranodon that I've hatched ever, I think. So, came out 349. Look at that. It would be nice if it was, if it was a nice even 350, but, you know, it is what it is. We've got to keep this one alive. Its stats are all where you want it. Melee could be, I guess, a little bit higher, I feel like, but everything else is just nice. Um, oh, also, this RG is crazy. Yeah, this is not painted. This is just, like, a bomb pop. Oh. <laughs> they went way further than I expected. Sorry about that. My apologies. But it looks like, I know it's not the same colors, but it's just like a bomb pop or something. This thing's insane. It's actually got really high HP and stuff, too, so I'm pretty happy with that. Usually, if they come out with a color scheme like that, their stats suck, but hey, that one's really cool. We've finally got a decent RG line. We'll wait for these, and we'll be right back. Alright, they're hatching behind me. Here we go. This is what I've been waiting for. I really wanted to see how good their Kentros were. They raged my Giga, like, instantly when I bit it, so kind of interested. I know that really doesn't matter, but they were hard to kill. HP is what matters on these guys. 230, that's a little higher. These 208s can't be that good. That's really low level. Let's see. I gotta disable wandering so these don't run around. Can't be having these little freaking spike balls roaming around. You do not want to step on that. Oh, sorry. Come on, let me get to the one. That one's 236. Oh, I really like how it looks, too. Like the white spikes on the back. Whatever. Can't get to it. Anyway. um, 6.6k. It's higher than what we have here, but... 
I feel like that's pretty high. That's pretty good. 6.6. .6. Ours are around low 6, I think. So, that's actually a stat improvement. What about the other one? I feel like I'm not getting to him in there. Okay, he's also 6.6. .6. And, oh. Ugh. <laughs> what a... What is this garbage? I'm sorry, but I cannot feed you. Alright, we're not gonna feed these ones. Although they do have some cool spikes. Really bad HP. Not worth actually keeping those. So, we've got a decent amount of babies to keep over here. Once that wyvern comes out, I'm pretty happy with what we've got. Um, also, we need to hatch all the ones over on the center. So, don't forget about that. We've got a lot of those. Hopefully those Kentros turn out at least with the 6.6k. So, we'll, we'll kind of see. We'll play it by ear. Head out over there when we can leave these for long enough to, you know, transmit back and forth. And, yeah, we'll be right back when we've got more to hatch. Alright. This is our new cooking area. I'm making some cakes here while I wait for these eggs to incubate. I went and got the ones over on the center down. And the problem with those ones is basically, I don't know, there's like a glitch... It only happens when you like, I don't know, transfer them a few times. So we transferred them off the server that we raided them on. And now I just can't take them off the center. Every time the timer restarts, they restart on their timer as well. And I sat at the transmitter for like three and a half hours, like AFK, trying to get these eggs across. And they just don't want to cooperate. So I don't know why it happens, but sometimes you just can't transfer eggs. They won't allow with the timer. So... I'm making cakes while those sit over there. Let me actually take it, some of those out. I usually just pack up the cooker with everything except the honey and just shove that in and sit here. Seems like a seems like a nice efficient way to do it. But this uh, crafting area is just awesome. We've got full tech. Um, let me get all these in there. This is, I think, mine, but I'm not sure thought that I had an ice wyvern egg. Anyway, check this place out. Full tech. Stacked crop plots. You can obviously stack all your crop plots and they still get watered. Sunlight, everything like that. It's the new thing to do. Definitely saves a ton of space to do it this way. Instead of doing it all on the floor and stuff. But I really like how this place is set up. Nice and, nice and easy to get back and forth from everything. So I'm going to continue to craft these up. We'll let these incubate. We'll be right back. Alright, I just got up. It's morning and Wyvern is starving. I let these sit over. Actually, I thought I wasn't going to be taking care of a Wyvern because he hatched under the foundations and I thought he was a goner. I woke up in the morning and he was still unclaimed and he had made his way out. So, yeah, we've got a Wyvern and he's just starving. I brought this over here as well as all the other Pteranodons and stuff because um, this is a actual setup breeding area. And we can actually take care of them a little better over here instead of our cramped corner. But anyway, I've got more eggs. We need to hatch them up over here. Alright, let's get down here. Still kind of getting used to this new base area, but I really like it. I'll be able to show it off a little bit more to you guys um, when, you know, it's more progressed and stuff. But it's still in its earlier stages, so we're not trying to show off everything too crazy-like. So, Archie's almost done. It looks way cooler when it's grown up. And, uh, yeah. These are all just hanging out. So, Wyvern's actually fed. We don't have to worry about it dying over here of starvation. But, here we go. Okay. Tranodons are about to hatch. Now, these are the Tranodons we got in the raid. The other ones being the Tranodons that I've been kind of getting our bloodline going on. So, let's see here. 286. No. No! 1700 HP, 500 stam. They should be ashamed of themselves. What are these horrible turnouts? I don't even know if it's worth looking at those ones. Let me see you. How could you be so bad? Alright, these are definitely not going to be used. Actually, I, I'm probably not even going to keep these ones. So, the Pteranodons from our raid are a bust. The Kentros, definitely good. I want to see what those other Kentros look like, though. Those are probably going to be the coolest thing that we get going, and they're going to be really useful to have under all the dinos that we've got over here. We need some protection, because it's a good thing to stick under, like, Brontos, Gigas, 
anything. So these are not going to be good. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Sorry, it's sad, but it's like a band-aid. We'll, we'll just do it quick. All right. Okay, well, it's not a rainbow, so that's negative points right off the bat. And, well, it's got decent HP. It's actually got some decent stats, but compared to the other one, it's it's just nothing. Much lower level, too, so you know it's missing some stats in some area. I don't know. I guess we'll keep it and just kind of raise it, but I really probably just want an army of the other ones because they're crazy looking, and this one's just bland. So, you know, we'll keep it. It's got some decent stats, but hey, it's ugly. Alright, here we go. We're finally back here on the center. Get some of these hats. We've got a couple fairies. Um, the Giga. Oh, the Giga on the other server, by the way, I hatched 200% melee. So, totally not worth it. This kangaroo, by the way. I don't know what stats look like for kangaroos, but... It is got some really cool colors to it, so we definitely need to breed up some of these kangaroos because they actually help with this like breeding process. So I actually want to put one of these guys into the pouch. I don't know what the lucky dino is going to be yet, but one of these will get to ride in the pouch. I think it gets like more imprint per imprint or something like that. So I don't know. Anyway, we'll organize these, let them sit. Hope this gig it turns out better because it'd be kind of nice to get one of those going, but. Not getting my hopes up. Oh, these are already hatching. What are you? What are you? Please. Nope. Rip. Oh, this one looks cool. Hold up. Let me imprint it. It's a low level, so... No. No, I don't want these. <laughs> I want to imprint the thing. Alright. Get over here. Yeah, this one looks really cool. Nope, not what we want. <laughs> Those stats are bad. Alright, someone gets to hang out in this Procoptodon. These are hatching up. 217. Oh, that's not promising. Oh, shoot. Okay. Right in that 4K. Doesn't look like we're going to get anything higher. Oh, this one looks awesome. Oh, this one's really cool. 7.5K. Dang. That is... What is this? Subscribe to Xfish. What is this? This is advertising inside of Dino Stats? Okay, get out of here. You guys can... You can go ahead and do that. I... I, I approve. <laughs> I approve of this genetics advertising. Okay, anyway. um, We've got... Really good Kentros here. This is awesome. Pretty happy about this. Uh, I don't really know what a really, really high HP on a Kentro is, but it's the highest one that I've seen. Oh, this one is hiding too. This one doesn't have all the colors like that other one does, but... Yeah. These are cool. Now, now I feel bad because I raised that other one all by itself. Wasn't even that good. I was thinking that 6.6k HP was good when they had these. Just waiting. Alright. Keep these all stocked up. We've got Therzinos and that Giga coming out next. Alright, so Therzinos came out. They're actually pretty good. I'm surprised. Um, 9k HP on the Therzinos. Well, I'll show you. So 9k HP and 414 melee. So they're actually decent. I'm surprised that they had this good of... Uh, there's you know's in that this was all mostly from that redwood cave so we got a lot of eggs out of this I'll pop this giga down that should hatch in a sec but yeah crazy not quite as good as our there's you know stats they're just a little bit worse so I'm definitely gonna keep them not worth getting rid of them since they're only a little bit worse than what we've got anyway keep up with these Actually, gonna toss one of these in the pouch. Let's see what it looks like with the kangaroo. Oh, okay. He's just he's just the bad one. Do you have anything in your genetics? Doesn't look like anything interesting. Definitely could use some more mutations though. All right, this is almost set. 
Come on, Giga. We need that 350 melee right here. Now it's, we won't get our hopes up. All right, here we go. 238. Not terrible. They seemed like they were pretty strong when we fought them. Let's see here. 265. Actually, pretty high melee. I'm. Wow. They had a pretty high melee on their Rexes. Or Gigas, sorry. Not that many, like, generations either. So that's that's pretty good. Not as good as ours, so sadly, gonna have to let this sit. And he didn't come out, like, lime green or something, so. Ow! Okay, we won't punch the babies. Um, yeah, probably just gonna let this Giga go. We'll hatch up, like, a really, really good batch maybe during the Valentine's event, which is gonna be... Like three times, it's gonna be three times breeding, so that's probably the best time to do Gigas. Okay, there is always a benefit of not using the Gigas that you hatch, and that's that we're gonna unclaim this thing and we're gonna get some XP from it. I actually did hit 101. I actually had a a little segment that I was gonna put into a video of it, but I guess it never got put in. So I hit 101 finally. I didn't think it would ever happen. Every time I get like 90s, there we go. I end up losing my character or something. So it's it's a big milestone for me. Finally above level 100. So now now on to level 115, right? We're gonna have to take out a lot more gigas than that. So all right, I need to feed these for a bit more, and then actually I gotta go get some wyvern milk. Oh, I forgot to show you before we go over to Ragnarok. Look at this thing. Eat your berries. Look at this thing in the pouch. It actually makes it a little bit difficult to access, like, its inventory. And I don't know if you have to, like, keep it in the pouch at a constant rate for this imprint bonus, but this guy's staying in the pouch for good. <laughs> I definitely want to go tame up some kangaroos. If not, just to store my babies, because it's funny. Alright, here we go. I hope we can find some low-level female. I haven't gotten wyvern milk in what feels like ages. Like... I did my initial wyvern raise, and I haven't done one in, like, probably since then, so I hope I don't, like, die, because I'm not used to this. You win? Alright. It was only level 85 that I could find, so it's going to take a couple extra trank arrows, but, oh, really? They just reduce the amount that, that does, so I think we should be okay. Let me sneak around. You don't see me doing anything. And. And. Is that an enemy griffin? Is that. This is lag. This is like some unheard of lag. No! What? How? Okay, now we're back. And it's closing. Okay. Are you an enemy? If you were an enemy. Alright, alright. If that was an enemy, that would have been really bad. Because I was just lagged so hard. I wonder if this guy needs some milk. Okay, I'm gonna knock this thing out. We've got our wyvern, our one wyvern's food. Alright, wyvern's all set here. All of our stuff raising here is all good. And now we're heading back to the center. But we have to take advantage of this berry farming like I don't even farm berries on the center you just have to come here to Ragnarok and do it because it's just so much better watch this you want to see the fastest way to slot cap something look at its weight just calculating going up okay one more one more all right there we go two swings of the tail slot capped let me get rid of all this junk though we don't need any of that garbage so Definitely the fastest way. I showed this off before. I think maybe it was the last breeding episode or something like that, but this is just the way to go. I come out here with two body bags, and you've got 600 slots of berries right there. Just from the two. So, all right, we've got all these going. Um, obviously going to take some time in these Kentros. Kind of sad that you can't just, like, toss a saddle on a Kentro and actually use it. You breed them up, and then they're just kind of used as, like, a defensive structure. But, I mean, hey... They are really cool. 
um, have amazing HP. Those were what I was excited for, but those eggs, they just seem like they had a really good line of that going. Um, as for the other stuff, obviously good Tyrandons, that RG is awesome, and stuff like that, but... Come on. Come on. Just out of reach. That's okay. Let me just drop all. Anyway, that's where we're going to stop for today. I'm going to continue to take care of these, and next time we'll definitely have to do some other stuff. We've got a couple theories and stuff, but... I, I don't know. If Let me know what you want to see uh, bred down below because I think last time we did dire bears as well. So we'll have to get into something a little bit more, more interesting. Anyway, if you like this video, definitely hit that thumbs up and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Y'all have a great yesterday and of course, we'll catch you next time.